why good girls fall for bad guys and why bad guys fall for good girls. So how come bad ends up with the good? So a person with a good girl syndrome or good boy syndrome will be always attracted to the manipulative selfish partner. Manipulative selfish people are using their internal radars to attract good girls and good boys. A manipulator needs somebody to blame for his mistakes. Therefore, a manipulator will create kind of a trap for the good girls. And once she is his, he will start blaming her for his failures. He will cheat on her, he will lie to her, he will um, betray her and trick her, and she will unconditionally love him. She will hope that one day he will realize how much she did for him. She will hope that one day he will understand how much she loves him and he will start value her and their relationship. So she will hope that one day he will change for the better. A good girl will be very critical of herself and always find excuses for her selfish partner's behavior. And I have a free webinar which is called Healthy Boundaries in Relationships. The link is below this video. Uh, in this webinar, I go into greater detail about how people end up in toxic relationships. So if you would like to watch this webinar, it's free. Link is below this video. So a good girl syndrome does not end with uh, romantic relationships. The same principle applies to friendship. So manipulative, selfish people are looking for good girls and good boys. A manipulative person needs somebody who is always ready to help. A manipulative person needs a good girl uh, friend or a good boyfriend uh, because uh, she will be the one to take the blame for the manipulator. So uh, a manipulator needs somebody who will always listen to him, somebody who will uh, sacrifice his time, his energy, and his desires for him. Same situation in a work environment. A good girl will be the person who always stays late and who is always willing to work extra hours without getting paid for. She will be the one to take the blame for the whole team. She will be willing to do the job for the whole team. She will, will be willing to do the job for the person just because he asked for her help. And she will be willing to fill in for any colleague just because they asked. Uh, so she will be the best employee. She will be the best friend, the best wife. But in order to stay the best, she has to sacrifice her own needs and desires. And in my online course, Program Yourself for Success, I teach about five detrimental behavior patterns that are not allowing us to be happy and successful in life. And uh, in my course, I also provide simple solutions that will work with those five detrimental behaviors. So if you think that you are stuck in a good girl syndrome, good boy syndrome, and I used to be a good girl myself, so it's not easy to, even if you realize that you have a good girl syndrome, it's not easy to get out of this type of behavior. So you need knowledge, you need somebody, a therapist, a mentor, a life coach, you need to go, you need to read books, you need to go to online course. So if you think that you are stuck in this good girl syndrome, I recommend uh, you consider taking my online course, Program Yourself for Success, and considering going to a professional person, a psychologist, a therapist who can help you with it. And the link to my online course is in the video description. So if you like this video so far, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you think that uh, your friend or your loved one uh, has 
this good girl good boy syndrome please share this video with them send it to them by email share it on your facebook on their facebook let them know that this information exists